All right, man, so look, we back at again with another crazy video. But before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big favor. You know I like to interact with y'all, okay? So go in the comment section below. Let me know what is your favorite snack. What is y'all favorite sweet? You feel me? I just want to know. Mine, personally? <laughs> hey, I'm going to take down some peach cobbler. You know what I'm saying? Some peach cobbler, boy. Whoo. Man, hey, look, if y'all got some peach cobbler, some homemade, let me know. Send it my way, please. I love me some peach cobbler. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, my podcast channel is in the link description box below, along with my IG. So both of them links, just go ahead and support your boy. You feel me? Support is free. All right, but anyways, let's get into this crazy video. This message is to all our would-be accomplices and white allies. This message is to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really wanna to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That is your job. You can go see it on another weekend, go see it on the second or third weekend, but the first weekend, that's for us. To do anything other than this is anti-black. Hold the, hold, uh-uh, hold the, man, boy, I almost jumped through the screen and did something I wasn't supposed to do. First of all, I, and if y'all don't know what movie she's talking about, okay? Now, this is my first time actually watching the entire video. I seen the beginning part, but I didn't get to the end because I wanted to react to it with y'all as a family. Now, I know the movie that she's talking about is Black Panther. Also because it's here right here, okay? But it's Black Panther. Now, how she go tell somebody else or another race to not go see the movie because they're not black? Number one, the movie, first of all, the movie is for everybody. I know it has black in there, but that doesn't mean that it's for black people, okay? Only. It's for everybody to go see. Not just for black people. You can't tell nobody what to do with their money. <laughs> Anyways, y'all let me know how, how was the movie. I didn't go see the movie. But for all my for all my white viewers, y'all let me know how was the movie, man. Y'all enjoyed it. Y'all enjoyed it. Y'all let me know. I, I, I didn't go see it. You feel me? I, I haven't seen Black Panther, okay? Even though I got a Black Panther sign right there, I, I have not seen Black Panther. So y'all let me know how the movie was. But back to what I was saying. You can't tell nobody. Like, this is so racist. This is honestly racist. How you gonna tell, how you gonna tell white people they can't do this because they're not black? And this for all the black people that say black lives matter. If you want to prove to black people that you're really down for the cause, what cause do black people have? Bro, y'all not getting any type of sympathy out of me, bro. For real. And for all the white people, let me tell y'all something. Look, for a lot of white people, I see that a lot of white people, y'all be scared to get canceled. Bro, stop being scared to get canceled and speak up. Let us, like, I really want y'all to really speak up against black people because they feel like they got power over y'all. They feel like they over y'all because they been through hell back then, but they didn't, even, they didn't even go through half of the stuff that our ancestors went through. And for the black people that's that's uh, in today's age going through something, guess what? It's white people going through stuff. I don't. I see white homeless people. I see black homeless people. I never seen an Asian homeless person, and I never seen a Mexican homeless person. But I see black homeless people and white homeless people. These are the two races that's always against each other. We don't really talk about Asians like that. We don't really talk about uh, Mexicans like that. We don't really talk about them. I don't see them going at e against each other. But it's always black and white, black and white, black and white. It's always that. So guess what? Like I'm I'm just confused on the fact that you can't like you can't tell nobody what like what to do with their money. You just cannot. You just cannot. Who are you? Who are you to tell somebody else what to what to do with their money? I I want to rewatch the video. I I literally want to rewatch the video. Let replay this video. Go back. I, I really want to rewatch it. What do you think about this? This message is to all our would-be accomplices and white allies. This message is to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people... White people ain't got nothing to prove to us. They ain't got nothing to prove to us. Nobody owes black people anything. That's what y'all need to get through your head. Nobody owes us nothing. We don't owe nobody nothing. 
So I'm confused on what you mean. They want to prove to black people. They don't got to prove nothing to us. Literally, they don't. What is y'all? What is black people problem? What is y'all problem that y'all don't like white people so much? What is y'all problem? Is it because of what ancestors did? Is it because back in slavery? Keyword back in slavery, bro. We in the year of 2022. We in the year of 2022. I'm just confused on why we keep bringing up things from the past. Why we can't move forward? In order to grow in life, you got to be able to move on from the past. Especially if you haven't even lived back then to even know what truly happened. That you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause. Do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket. You give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater in front. I'm not giving my ticket away to somebody. I'm not. I'm not. Unless God called me to give my ticket away to somebody, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Who would I look like buying a $25 ticket or however much it costs? A ticket. And then I'm just, oh, well, I bought this ticket because I know you guys can afford it. So here you go. You guys go see the movie. I wasn't invited because some idiot on TikTok told me that I can't come go see the movie. So I'm going to listen to them and give my ticket to you guys. You guys have a great one. Like, no, I'm not doing that, bro. Front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That is your job. You can go see it. On I'm done. I, I can't listen to it no more. I can't listen to it no more. This is literally, this is literally ridiculous. Ridiculous the fact that my own people got to think like this. Some of my people think literally like this. But let a white person would have said some stuff like this, bro. Oh my gosh. It would have been going crazy. I mean, you're racist. You're this, you're that. You white. Good, 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 good. Like, bro, it would have went crazy if a white person said something like this. If they said something along these lines... Saying, oh, well, you black people don't make sure you don't see this movie because this is for us white people. We we work so hard for this moment. Well, y'all go to the stores and y'all block yours with your body. He's like, bro, it sounds stupid. You sound stupid. For real. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Like, honestly, let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about the situation. Like, this is this is honestly ridiculous. This is truly ridiculous. I can't support. This is why I can't support things like this. This, this is why I, I just can't I can't support something like this. I can't support my own people harassing and talking about another race, but then get mad when that race talk about us. We talk about them more than they talk about us. They not even, half of them not even worry about us, and half of us is not even worried about who go sees a movie or not, bro. It's a public area. This is America, the land of the free. Like, bro, you can go to whatever movie you want to see. If I wanted to go to see freaking I don't know, the white Star Wars or something. I don't know. I'm just making up something. If I want to go see that, bro, I can. I can. I don't care about me being the only black person in there. Like, come on, man. Y'all need to get over y'all self for real. <sighs> get off my screen, man. She just made me mad. I don't even want to look at your face no more. I don't even want to look at your face. Let me go to the... I don't even want to look at your face. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications. This, this, that was ridiculous, okay? That was truly ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that situation. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.